Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe, I appreciate the views, influences, interest on YouTube. Welcome people, this is Influence and today I have Legacy Bulkhead. You see the 360 here, I think it looks great. I think it's a great figure. Uh-uh. It feels good, like it's hefty, it feels solid, like it's a, it's weird. It feels like a great build, especially for a mainline, as it should for being more money these days. No, they raised their prices, and that's a contention I talk about in a couple videos. I'm going to stop saying it, though. We also got the new packaging going on. Uh, short story, I don't really collect anything but g1 but i do know bulkhead i know prime because my son used to watch it when he was little and it kind of reignited my love for transformers so it kind of i probably would get anything prime that comes out just because it's kind of sentimental to me because my you can say in a way my son got me back into uh transformers as a whole I didn't start collecting for a while after that, but at the same time, you know, I used to buy him the figures and he would like them and he would get into them. So I credit him watching Prime as a because it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I watched all the seasons on Netflix. I didn't watch it while it was out. Um, so we watched it together. So it's just a core memory uh, of him growing up. All right. So there's enough stories. Let's get into this. Review. You know, I was talking about my son because it, his senior prom was this weekend. So it's kind of bring me back to memory lane when he was younger. Uh, let's get into the accessories of this guy. So you got this right here that wraps around. It opens up and I just remember him having it. I'm not sure what it was for. I can't remember really. It's been so long. So you just take it apart like that and put it on his hand and then it stays like this and can go on like the gun can go on it anyway. Then you have his uh, gun that just came off, a little Gatling gun that goes on his shoulder or it can go in his hand with the uh, five millimeter port. But it has a little tiny port on the side and there's a little hole back here that it can fit in and work. It is pretty loose, but as you see, it's in his hand again. And this is just a pretty nice clear Gatling gun. Uh, the clear blue, I'm not sure why they made it clear blue. Maybe it was clear blue in the show or maybe it was a hologram. It just, you know, a lot of their their trans, their trans guns just formed. But also this is an accessory. You can take it off. I'm going to leave it on just to show that you can transform it with it on. But it does come off and can become a shield. He can hold it. You can flip this out. It can either go on his arm. Once you flip it out, might as well show it. So yeah, you can do this, have it on his arm as a shield, or he can actually, while he's holding this, you can put, so you can hook that to it and he can hold it that way. You can have this down so there's not a hole in it and you can hook it up here. You can hold it that way. It's a number of things he can do. He also has this right here where he you can store the gun while you're holding it if you don't want the gun on his shoulder. Or you can store the gun in the back here if he's holding it and you just don't want it on the shoulder. I mean, it's five millimeter ports all over the place in here, like everywhere in his back. He can store the gun back here if he wants to. You know, you see that? So we'll get into that, but I'm going to put this back on because you can transform it with it on and I will show that you just put it back here and it has a little window that's covered up by that. Then you got the legacy boxes, which I do like the new artwork. It's more cartoony. It has like the rainbowish effect around there. Of course, you see. His stuff has little tech specs here. I guess you would, I didn't do that yet. So I guess you would uh, scan that. And over here you have some of, 
Legacy, the first wave. So some comparisons. Iguanas. You see how small he is next to Bulkhead. And Galvatron. I have minimum amount of figures to show. And you see Galvatron's a little bit bigger than Bulkhead. Which probably should be the case. I know they they're weren't in the same continuity. Let's get into... Well, let's, let me show his face sculpt. Looks like Bulkhead as I remember. Like his eyes... The only thing I, I kind of don't like is it, it's down. Like, I, I don't know if that's true to the character. I can't remember, <laughs> to be honest with you. I just remember him being big, being a truck, and looking like this. Like, his face sculpt definitely brings back memories for me. But I can't really remember all the details and everything. That was a long time ago, the last time I seen Prime. And do this, too, with the backpack or the shield in order to get the arms we might as well go over articulation his head as i was saying it doesn't it goes up about that much goes down like that and it can spin around no it hits back here so it can get all the way almost that way it can get all the way that way i mean it's about as far as you need it to i don't know why you would need it anymore his shoulders go up about like this. Uh, I showed his arms going all the way around. You can move this in order to get this out the way so you can do that. He had he kind of has a, a waist uh, crack, crunch, ab crunch, but it's like backwards. It's going back because it due to transformation. But you do have a waist swivel that you can get all the way around. His arms are not double jointed, but they do get way more than 90 degrees. So they might as well be double jointed. You got the bicep swivel. Do get a little bit of hollowness in there, but it's not terrible. And it, it, it kind of has a molded piece that kind of looks like details. But from the outside, you can't really tell. You got his fists spin all the way around. It is a bit hollow underneath. But again, you can't really tell. It just has a five millimeter port. So there's that. You have his splits that he can get. So he does the whole splits. It's definitely on friction. No, it's on soft ratchets. Front to back, side to side is on soft ratchets. Front to back doing the hurdles is on friction. He can hurdle. He doesn't get the leg all the way up. That's all right. Then he has 90 degrees for knees, 90 degrees for knees. He has the swivel up here built into the upper thigh and he has a toe tilt and it actually tilt tilt. And then he has the heels spur that's independent that tilts as well. And he also has a rocker that is a great rocker. So everything, almost everything you would need from a foot. And then this is the back. It's not terrible. Even with the backpack. Actually, the backpack makes it look kind of cleaner. Because it is a little hollow up in here. Get this thing transformed. Get into it. Lift this up a little bit right here. And kind of... Leave it like that so you can get into this. He has pegs right here, but you got to kind of bend them out, outwards to get them things out. The cab kind of keeps all this centered and in. So that's why you pull it. After you can get these out, you pull the cab out, up, I should say, like that. Then you can get to all this. You can push his head. You can move this down. Push his head down. It is on a hard, uh, but you can push it all the way down. You can push this up now. That is room. It fills in that cavity up top where his head was. Now that you have this in order, you can move this down here like this and just bring it down. That is. 
then move this all the way back and move that up. Now that was hard to first, I mean, it's hard now to be fair, but in order to get it, you got to push this all the way up and then you can just leave this stuff like this, you move this all the way down here. Cause this is all I, you got to get all this out the way. We move it all the way down. It comes together in here and clips together like this just to get them straight so they're not hitting anything now I'll get these things together it's kind of hard now you can bend the elbow the non double jointed but far bending elbow and that's what that's for then you can move this down here and it kind of sits like that so you have that like this and you're good to go So you have this like this. It was kind of hard to understand, but because this is so hard, it's kind of hard to get that out. And you might have it up here like this because you didn't know to split that. But once you split that and you have these legs all the way down, you can move this up here like this. Move this down. You can move this up here. Move this down. Kind of like that. It's just, you know, I'm doing it as it says in the directions. Then what you want to do is open this up. And there's this right here. You pull this out, spin it around, and then it goes like this. Then you can move that back down. Do the same thing over here. Pull this up. Spin it around. Move it up. And if you see those... Th those peg holes right there, there's a peg hole right there. That's why you have it like this, because then those pegs go in there and they kind of keep it together. So you just push that in there like this to kind of keep it together. And you can put these legs together as well. It's just the back of the truck. Then it's kind of easier to get these in where you should have them. Now you can push this down here like this. And you have these pegs that's gonna peg. The pegs are right here. I don't know what I was talking about. Put the pegs there. And you actually can put the weapons here now if you want. So this goes here like that. And then you can put this right here like this, whichever way it fits. It's like this, so the flat part uh, gives room for the gun. Uh, I make sure it's together correctly. Here, pick one of the holes that are actually holes, not the other part. And you can leave that like that. Now, you're going to push this up here. Well, let me pull this back down. Pull these down, and they're pegged right here. You peg them on. And I think they're just uh, fake tires just to make it look like the tires transform and go up. I think that's a cool, cool detail. So then you move this up here and now right here fits in between them tires and the pegs right here go into this hole. And these pegs right here go into these two pegs. Then you just get that together. Push everything in. Everything should be good. Then you move this down and there's a peg hole there and peg hole right there that these two go into. Move it down, move it down. And voila, you got bulkhead as a truck. Now, I don't remember if he was this type of truck, but maybe he was. I don't know. I can't remember. Picture here. So, so I know. Yeah, though, it looks great. I think it looks great. I think it's a great, fun transformation. Like, this is a fun figure for me. Again, besides the sentimental value, which could be tainting my uh, enthusiasm somewhat. I, I do recognize that. She got the blue here, Autobot symbol. 
Uh, it's just a nice looking truck to me. And the transformation to get there is pretty fun. And you see the bottom. It's not really overtly robotish on the bottom. Like folded up robot. It kind of looks like just parts. Rolls great. Rolls fine. Plastic wheels, of course. But you got ports here. You got ports here where you can actually stick the port up here where you can stick the uh, stuff if you don't want to. You actually fold this out, which kind of these feet. This kind of acts like a, a ramp, so you can fold it out. It kind of looks like it has treads right there, so you can ramp it up, and then you can get the stuff out. Of course, you can move this up to get it out, and you can fold this back up, kind of like a tailgate. And I think that's cool. Now, let's go backwards and call it a day. Move this out. I like to take the weapons out now. Move all this stuff out. Open up this, move this back. Slide that in there like that. Again, open up that. Move this back, slide that in there, close it back up. Flip the heel spurs out. Can't. You can't get them out. You can do that where you can uh, kind of lock them back on itself. Sometimes I have trouble getting them out, so I just lock them and then move it like that, and then you can get it out. Just little, little, little stuff, little, little tricks. Put this together. Move this up. Get these arms out the way. Move them down. Then you gotta undo them. Try not to break them. Then you can move it up here. Uh, oh, forgot this step. Always forget one step or two steps. This just depends. So you got to move this up in order to make that space to get them through and kind of finagle it as best as possible. Now you can get these arms up and around where they should be. Then you can move the cab down a little bit and then you go inside, push the top down and you have room for the head. You can push this head up and this can go down as swift as possible. Put that in there like that. Home free. Now you can make all this stuff kind of fit this uh, up in here as best as possible. Put everything together and just flip this down. You can turn it like that if you need to. Put this on this side even if you want it. And then over here, put his accessory on. Back to robot. This has been Bulkhead from the Legacy line.
Thank you for joining me again, and please enjoy your day wonderfully. I will get up with you.